guys have a bad habit of putting toilet paper in a toilet and not flushing it. 90% of the stoppage, the blockages, are due to the fact that people are trying to put too much waste and other things into the toilet. And it's like you women have to wait till you got so much in and then you flush it. I don't understand that. You're there, fill the paper in, flush the toilet. It's that simple. But we go to some houses, you know, you got paper galore, paper won't flush because there's so much of it. It's like, you know, you women, I don't know. Well, sometimes I don't want to waste the water. What's water? Just a couple cents. It's cheaper than calling a plumber out if you just flush it. Nothing but nothing, it's all in that city. Now, could you explain to me about kinds of toilet paper? Well, the thickness of the toilet paper really, um, the, uh, you know, the Charmin Ultra here, you can pull it apart and you usually find out that this is normally what you find in, the thin portion is usually what you find in, uh, like, a lot of the commercial bathrooms due to the fact that they know that it absorbs water immediately. Now when you put it together, it's a lot thicker, so it takes time for the water to actually absorb and uh, for it to, once it absorbs, then it can pull it through. But a lot of times what people make the mistake of doing is they real fast pull it off the roll, take care of whatever they have to take care of, they throw it in the toilet, and before the water's hit, even had time to absorb and, uh, you know, and, and make the tissue actually a little heavier to, for the water to be able to pull it through, it doesn't it? Then it just kind of floats on the surface. What kind of toilet paper would you recommend? I love Sherman Ultra. <laughs> yeah, I use it at my house, but you know, sometimes a courtesy flush is necessary. Like in your sewers, if somebody throws down a tampon and stuff like that, it works on the same way as it does a woman in your sewer. You start getting them, they start getting wet, they expand out, and you get too many in. And then, you know, you got a plug sewer and you tell the customer about it and obviously they say, oh, I don't do that no more, I don't do this, I don't do that. Well, here they are. Tampons are not supposed to be flushed? No, no. If you read on the box, it says the applicator can be flushed, but not the uh, cotton itself. I've always felt oh. like I've been instructed to flush a tampon. Well, obviously I know more about tampons than you do. I don't use them, but I know about them. Always on my heart. You still turn me on. So I found a plastic douche bottle caught in the toilet once. And, you know, a douche bottle is a good sized bottle. And it was caught inside the toilet. I mean, somebody had to push it. And when I broke the toilet to find out what it was, you know, the customer says, well, my kid had to do it. There's no way the kid could have done it. The kid was too little. Once we were cabling out of the toilet, and we, of course, pulled out a cell phone. <laughs> Pulled it back, saw the cell phone bob to the top, but the toilet, I can't even tell you how, begin to describe how, I think facial expressions describes it, it was bad. It was a, it was a bad toilet. All you can do is just tell the customer, don't do it, but they don't listen. Kill a love that ain't half dead. I was at a customer's house, it was a gentleman, and I was running this sewer and I pulled back some uh, condoms and the guy looks at it and he says, where'd you get those? I, well, I got them out of your sewer. So then he calls his wife down. To make a long story short, he didn't never wore condoms, but he had condoms in his sewer. Always on my heart, and you still turn me on. So maybe I won't waste any more love, wondering if it's all the good ain't gone, and all the good ain't gone.